Hello, and welcome to the Flurry tutorial on RTB Ad Space Setup. In this video, we'll walk through how to create an ad space and configure it to serve ads from Flurry Marketplace, our real time bidded exchange. Let's get started. First, we'll need to create an ad space. From within the Flurry portal, navigate to the Publishers tab, then select Inventory, and then Ad Spaces. Now select Create Ad Space. Within the Basic Setup block, enter in the name of your ad space. For this tutorial, we'll enter RTB Ad Space. Next, select which application this ad space is for. We'll choose our demo app. Then, select the type of ad, banner or full screen, and its placement. We'll select full screen. We're done with the basic setup of the ad space, so let's move on to set it up specifically for RTB. The next setup block relates to Flurry's ad network. There are two items here that apply to RTB. The first is the ad mix, which determines the type of ads you would like to show. The default setting is standard, which ensures your inventory will be filled with ads from the RTB marketplace. Let's keep it selected this way. Next up is the backfill setting. When set to yes, if an ad request is not filled through the RTB exchange, it will be backfilled with an ad from Flurry's ad network. When set to no, the ad request will not be sent to Flurry's ad network. For this demo, we'll select no for this setting, ensuring that only ads that come through the RTB marketplace will fill our ad space. Now, onto the RTB marketplace section. First, Select whether you'd like your app name to be visible or anonymous in the marketplace. If you select visible, your ad will be sent along with each ad request to advertisers and DSPs. If you select anonymous, your app name will not be sent. We recommend keeping yourself visible, as experience shows that you may receive a higher eCPM as advertisers know what property they are bidding on. Next, select what ads you'd like to show in your ad space. Display ads are included by default, and you can decide whether you'd like to show rich media or vast video ads by selecting the respective checkboxes. We'll leave all three selected for this demo, as this maximizes the ads available to your inventory. Next, select an eCPM floor. This sets the minimum amount that you want your inventory sold for. In this example, we'll set our floor to $1 and Flurry will ensure that all ads served into this ad space from the RTB marketplace achieve this minimum price. Finally, you'll notice an RTB backfill setting. Since you're creating an ad space to show ads from the RTB marketplace, keep this set to yes. Now, on to the advanced options section. This is where you'll set up any filters you may have for your ad space. You'll see a number of dimensions listed here. The two that are relevant to serving RTB ads are Advertiser's Domain and IAB category. Under Advertiser Domain, enter in the web address of a company whose ads you want blocked. Make sure to select the icon to the right of the text box to add this filter. Under IAB category, select any categories of ads that you would like blocked from your ad space. In this demo, we'll select not to show any ads that fall in the Arts and Entertainment category. You'll see all the blocks you've added in the current filters section. You can remove a filter at any point by selecting the red X next to it. The last setting is display policy. If you want to turn off your ad space in the future, you can do so here by selecting off in the drop down. And finally, select save ad space. You'll know you've successfully created your ad space when you see this screen appear. Now it's time to integrate the ad space into your app. This takes a few quick steps. First, take the ad space code provided to you here and add it to your app. You will also receive this code in an email sent to you by Flurry. If you have any questions about how to integrate this code, please visit our support site, support.flurry.com. Second, make sure you're running the latest version of the Flurry SDK. You can download that here. Last, submit your app to the App Store and start earning revenue. That's it. Now you know how to set up an ad space for RTB with Flurry. You can find more information on our support site. And if you need extra help, you can always contact us at publishers at Thanks for watching.